Hello all, we are here for one more lesson of this new Varicad 2016 training course and we will dedicate this lesson to the user interface and mouse use. Uh, so I will show you a little about the graphical environment of, of the program and uh, I'd like to start to describe you uh, the two environments we have inside the program. The first one is uh, what we have in our screen, the 2D environment or uh, drawing uh, area. And if we click in this 3D button here, 3D icon, we change for the modeling area or 3D space modeling area, what uh, you might call it but uh, just to understand the difference, uh, 3D is a space where we use the, all the 3D coordinates, X, Y, and Z, and the 2D where we draw in, in plan, in the X, Y plan. So it's a 2D environment where we work with the lines and these kind of entities. Just to show you a very brief example, let us open um, an example. So this is a typical 2D drawing where we see uh, lines, circles, dimensions, and if we change in the exact same file for the 3D environment, we see uh, 3D solid, which we can act like this, okay? So, uh, inside the program, we have uh, a lot of things to understand how, how to work, and the first is this line of menus which we can click and other options commands are open in front of us so you see each command has a different icon so i i suggest you to to make uh, our training course complete training course because you'll have the description of all the commands inside um, and among these commands you have, you have some of them uh, which are called submenus. You can see this little arrow that open uh, another uh, menu with more options. So you have a couple of them and uh, there are examples where you can see from this submenu you still have another submenu. Okay? So this is common for all these menus and along the course we are going to see all these commands. Then we have a lot of icons. So we have this line of icons, we have a second line of icons and we have more on the right side, on the left side and below. And all of these is, uh, can be set by the user. So, um, this look as it is now, it is the standard look of the program. So, we have this kind of look in 2D. In 3D, we have also a line of icons, which it's a little change due to the options we have for the, the, the specificity of the 3D. And the icon are a little different because uh, on the 3D side, we have only icons on the top and below, not on the sides. But basically, the idea it is the same. We can define what is shown. Um, besides, you can note that some in some places you have these little uh, dots, and if you hover the the cursor. Uh, you see that the behavior is a, li a little different. So when you see this uh, symbol with the four arrows, uh, I, I will make on this, 
you can grab this group of icons and tear it off okay and place it again here or here or wherever you want okay uh, so you can place uh, the icons by groups uh, where is more uh, comfortable and suitable for you besides you can set this um, putting your uh, cursor on top of, of the icons wherever you want make a right mouse click and you will see a list of the toolbars uh, which you have in red uh, the active ones and you can uh, turn it off for example the, this 2d 3d switch mode which is this little menu that I've teared off before if I click on top you'll see change okay and it is gone and to do the reverse do again the right mouse click on top of the same change okay and here it is and I will place it on the same on the same spot okay this is the behavior and the way how you can define the position and the type of uh, toolbars you have in your screen so um, in this big blue area you have in both places 2d and 3d you have the drawing itself in this case the drawing which you can use like this or in the 3d you have as we as we seen before the our solid or solids um, below we have more icons but we have this little area here which is the command uh, box and here on the command we can write down the command instead of coming to a menu and I will use an example for uh, the new command or for example um, let us choose another one for the line uh, we can call the line by coming here on the menus in the and in, in the sub menus we can make the uh, control plus l combination or we have a shortcut uh, that we have a, a description in our theoretical part for each command we can have a shortcut and write it down in this command box so for the line it is lean enter and okay I'm in the inside the line command um, and uh, besides this behavior uh, we keep the history of the previous commands which we can call anytime okay so this is uh, a very useful uh, functionality we have inside the program uh, still below this area we have the this message line that um, send us some information uh, about what is going on about the what each command does or when we are inside the command what is being requested for example on the same example of the line if I go to the line I still haven't click on the command but you see the message below message here uh, create single lines or multi-segmented lines and if I choose the command then it starts to send me messages of what is being requested at this moment select segment endpoint I will click segment endpoint okay and the message still is continued to change according to what is uh, what is happening in our drawing um, I will I will leave this command on because I want to show you in this right area that also according to what is happening um, some information is more are displayed here and in this case you can see the coordinates so X Y and then you have uh, things about the polar coordinates uh, which is the radius and the angles 
but you see that we have coordinates uh, being shown here so it is uh, a very useful information to display uh, I, I leave the final option to the end because this is a, a brand new thing um, in this uh, 2016 version we have this area here with this information about the update of the version um, this is on the same alignment of the menus um, and uh, it's an automatic function that each time we start the program will show what is the status of the software okay this is something uh, in the past we, we have this area clear now it is something that we should look to see what is going on with our um, with our software uh, regarding the um, the interface I think uh, the main ideas are are shown and uh, now I would look I would like to talk a little about the mouse um, so uh, at this moment uh, Varicad supports um, mouse devices with three buttons or with five buttons they have different uh, functionalities and uh, you can read a little more about it in our theoretical side but to show you uh, what are the functions that we have inside so on the 2d side this is quite simple because uh, all, almost all the work is done by the central mouse or in my particular case I have a wheel so when I turn the wheel back and forward you see that I'm making zoom in zoom out if I click and hold the same wheel I'm doing the pen okay and I don't have any more functions uh, regarding display on the 2d I have functions with the mouse for selecting commands or selecting points which is my left mouse button okay this is left click and it opens and when I choose points always left clicks and when I want to make the enter or similar to this okay I do with my right mouse button this is something that can be defined inside a software but, but this is the standard behavior of the mouse um, going to the 3d it's a little different because we have more functions regarding display of, of the models of the solids so uh, again my, my central wheel will do the zoom in zoom out like this and with my right mouse button if I click and hold will make the, the, the turnaround uh, it's a free turnaround of the, of the part okay um, with my left mouse button I can do this kind of functionality or again the selection of commands selection of points this kind of function similar to the 2d side and with my left mouse button also when I'm inside the commands and uh, I'm in the middle of, of choices um, with, with this right mouse I open new dialog boxes with options inside the command so this is a little different behavior um, I would like to uh, invite you again to make our theoretical course because all this is explained in detail inside that course um, besides uh, I will show you something that I have prepared this is uh, an image of one uh, of the slides we have in our um, theoretical course showing the type of uh, clicks and configurations we have with our with, it, with our pointing device with our mouse and this is a symbology we are using also uh, 
if you look around in, in our YouTube channel, you have some free videos making uh, the parts and drawings inside our exercise book. We have uh, not much, but we have a couple of them which are free. And you, we have a, a little mouse in the corner of Varicad here in, the, in, the, in this right corner. And you will see all the clicks that I'm doing when I'm building the drawings and the models. Uh, all the clicks I do with my, with my mouse. Uh, we have a lot of private videos that we are releasing and these videos uh, also to build other drawings and other parts uh, will be available for the people who, who, who will buy the exercise book and the training course and these guys will have access to all the videos and then uh, with this symbology and with this new functionality they will see all the creation process and all the clicks and all the movements with a mouse so i think it's something that uh, for all all of you uh, should consider to see to have um, a better and faster learning curve uh, with the program